I'm Maria Idol, president of the Nike Foundation. The World Economic Forum has really taken a leadership position around adolescent girls. Last year, it held a plenary on this topic, really putting girls on the top of the global agenda for the first time in history. Then there were summits in South Africa and India where that same momentum was carried. So this issue of adolescent girls is really capturing people's imaginations and attention. And now it's time to move from why should we invest in girls to how do we invest in girls. The why is pretty obvious now to everyone. It's so logical, it's so common sense that if you invest in a girl, you transform not just her life, but her family's life, her community's life, everyone around her, her whole nation. The question is, how do you do it? How do we get really practical? So this year is really about focusing on the how. And the how entails some really critical things. We need to look at the data that's there and act on it. Whoever you are, you have actions that you could take based on very obvious information that you probably just aren't paying attention to. HIV AIDS is a great example. There is not a global HIV AIDS strategy for girls, yet girls are the center of the epide epidemic. It's time to look at that and act differently. It's also time to not think that you have to change your whole strategy and invest everything in girls. It means whether you're investing in water, agriculture, health, economic development. Girls are part of every single one of those things. What you need to do and what we all need to do is figure out how to make sure girls are part of whatever you are already investing in. And then we need to make sure this doesn't become just an issue of the day that became popular and important and then everyone moved on. This is a fundamental issue of growth. Economies will not grow if their girls are not able to participate fully in their society, political system, and economy. And until we see those kinds of results, we will continue to see cycles of poverty. When we see those kinds of results, we are going to see the kind of growth acceleration and peace and stability in countries that we all are working so hard to achieve. If we're going to redesign the world and actually solve problems, it's probably smart that we start preventing them before they start. Adolescent girls are the way to do that. If you invest in a girl before she's a woman, before she's HIV positive, pregnant, and married, you have the chance to change the trajectory of poverty in a positive direction and create cycles of growth. Twenty ten is a really critical year, and one of the most important things we can do is make sure we start creating inclusive growth. And one of the groups that's had really no chance to be involved in contributing to that growth is adolescent girls in poverty. We have a huge opportunity if we give them a chance to become educated mothers, prepared employees, to become sources of growth for economies, as opposed to perpetuating cycles of poverty as they're HIV positive, pregnant, and married before they've had a chance to become an adult. So it's really critical that we see what are the root causes that are driving the lack of growth in economies. And one of the most important root causes is the mother of every child that will be born into poverty is going to start as an adolescent girl. And what happens to her at adolescence will determine whether she will be creating cycles of growth or cycles of poverty for her country. There's really no group more exciting than adolescent girls to redesign and rethink the world. Today they have no voice and no opportunity to really contribute to the design of the world. So today it's dependent on her carrying firewood, being the electric grid, carrying water as the plumbing system, taking care of the sick as the healthcare system. So if we don't redesign the world so that girls can actually participate as opposed to providing the infrastructure of poverty, we're not going to see the kind of progress that we need. She should be spending her time in school contributing to growth and getting ready to build strong families and economies. If we've got her supplying the failed infrastructure of poverty, we're never going to see the kind of progress that we need. So girls have this amazing potential and energy 
to transform and redesign our system. We just have to give them a chance to have a voice in that pro process and also to really truly participate. One of the most critical issues of our time is food security. Let's take that as an example. Adolescent girls do 70% of the work of agriculture, yet they're the first to go hungry. If we don't redesign the world thinking about how the girl who is responsible for creating growth in that sector is educated and prepared to be a farmer of the future, we are losing out in a huge opportunity to accelerate growth in economies. We have a tendency to just look at the problem or the challenge. Let's look at the opportunity. Adolescent pregnancy in India results in nearly $100 billion in lost potential income. That's the kind of opportunity that if we took it very seriously and truly invested in that potential, we would tr transform economies.